Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk all about Delft. What it is, where you can get it, how much it is, and who makes it. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. But first, I just wanna say the only piece that I have in person right now is this cute little cow creamer. And as you can see here, it is stamped Delft. That's what the stamp looks like. Uh, more recent um, versions of the stamp look like anyway. But we decorate with Delft and other blue and white at our other home, which is not in the United States. So I can't show you any of that now So I because I don't have access to it, but I will bring you some awesome looking images of beautiful Delft and what it looks like. So Delft is a kind of pottery that comes from a city in Holland called Delft. And often when you see these beautiful Delft pieces, what you'll see is these gorgeous depictions of Holland. And what is Holland known for? Holland is known for those beautiful um, wind tunnels, the windmills, these beautiful shaped houses, and other beautiful things that remind you of Holland you'll often see on uh, Delft pieces. And also you'll notice that the colors used are blue, this deep Delft cobalt blue, if you want to say, and um, and then hints of light blue, and of course this white, which could more accurately be described as like a creamy white, a milky white. So the interesting thing about Delft is it they started producing it in the 17th century. And the reason that they started producing Delft was because Chinese pottery was really popular and Europeans wanted to get their hands on some. Um, so Delft came about um, inspired from that. And in the 16 and 1700s, Delft was especially popular. Um, and then it's made it made a revival in more recent years as well, but it was very, very popular during, during those years. Nowadays, in modern recent years, we know of Delft as beautiful Delft vases. There's little tchotchkes that are Delft, of course, creamers and milks. But did you know that the original Delft pieces were most often teacups and teapots? And that's because at that time in European history, Europeans were so hungry for that type of stuff. And there simply wasn't, you know, vessels and things for them to drink out of. So, that's where Delft came in and solved that problem. So Delft were truly entrepreneurs, if you think about it that way, during that time. Who makes Delft? This is always an important question that you wanna know because you wanna know what stamps to look out for, am I right? So we know that Delft is a type of earthenware, a type of pottery that's made in this uh, city in Holland called Delft, but who produces it? So the biggest uh, producer of Delft right now, currently in existence, are these guys. That's Royal Delft. But back in the day, uh, before this was made, um, back in the 17th the 17th century when, when Delft was first created, there were a bunch of creators out there. So if you're looking for really old antique Delft, there, there are other makers. There are makers other than the Royal Delft Company. So you might have a lot to look out for. How do you know if it's Delft? This is the best question of the day because we know who makes it. It's the Royal Delft Company. We know what it is. What do you look out for? So number one, the number one thing that you're gonna look out for is the Royal Delft Crest, which is right here. That's the stamp. And like I said, this is a more recent iteration of the stamp. What else do you look out for? You're gonna look out for these beautiful looking flowers. Etch that into your memory. Look at how beautiful those are. Those are called tulips and it's an ode to the beauty of Holland, the beauty of that country, and the beauty of its one of its major uh, crops that it has, tulips. And then you'll also see these guys, the windmills, which is another ode to, to the beauty of Holland. So you'll see those also. And that's really what you're gonna look out for. So you're gonna look out for that particular stamp, and you're gonna look out for those designs that are usually incorporated into Delftware. So that's all that we have time for today. I hope that you truly enjoyed the video. And please, before you leave, definitely subscribe because I do this all the time. I am a collector of so many different things, um, including Delft, which is out of the country right now, like I said, uh, but I do videos like this all the time for the different collections that I have. I got my um, love for collections from my grandmother, who is a collector of many different things, including Fenton. If you like Fenton, 
head over. I have a video about Fenton wear that I made with my grandmother. So I, I gotta go though, but <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Please subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.